You can use aqua resin and fiberglass to make a thin shell of a prop in a one-piece mold. With a silicone rubber mold, you do not need any mold release. It is helpful to have all the pieces of fiberglass you will need cut and laid out beforehand. Cut the pieces with a sharp scissors, as a knife does not always work as well. Wear gloves even when cutting, as the nearly invisible glass shards will get into and under your skin. Do not try to make a large sheet of fiberglass conform to a complex shape. It is better to use several little pieces. For most props, you want to keep your pieces of fiberglass cloth no bigger than a sheet of paper. The edges should overlap as little as possible. It may be helpful to label your pieces ahead of time. Aqua resin is a brand of water-based resin which can be reinforced with fiberglass. It is far less toxic than traditional fiberglass resins. For theatrical purposes, it has the added benefit of being flame retardant. To use aqua resin, you combine a liquid and solid component. For fiberglass work, one part liquid to two parts powder is sufficient. Aqua resin can be thickened simply by increasing the proportion of powder to liquid. When making fiberglass in a negative mold, lay down a surface coat of just resin. This will capture all the surface detail and help hide the texture of the fiberglass cloth. The resin may run down the vertical areas. Keep brushing it upward as the resin cures so you get adequate coverage. Soak the fiberglass in water and wring it out fully before applying it. This will help the resin absorb into the entire cloth. As soon as the surface coat is dry, in about 10 to 20 minutes, you can apply the fiberglass. Paint another coating of resin over the mold right before laying in your cloth. Lay your pieces over the entire surface of your mold with the edges slightly overlapping each other. Brush or roll more resin over the surface of all the cloth until it is fully saturated. Press out any air bubbles that get trapped under the cloth. A dry, stiffened brush can be helpful for this task. For larger areas, use a roller. Once you have one layer of the mold completely covered, begin covering with a second layer in the same manner, but crisscross the strips over the seams of the previous layer so that the strands are running in a perpendicular direction. Do not pick up or slide the fiberglass cloth once it has been placed down in the resin. Again, work air bubbles out by pressing or rolling. All the pieces need to be pressed fully against the layer before it. Two layers are often enough for handheld items, but you can continue adding more layers in this manner if you need it. Cut and trim the jagged edges from the cured piece with very strong scissors or a knife. Any individual glass strands that stick out are as sharp as daggers, and extra care needs to be taken to make sure nothing will pierce an actor's skin while handling the prop. To give the edge a smooth finish, paint it with more resin that has been thickened. Finish off the piece with a thicker flow coat of resin. Let your piece cure for a few hours. Once it is hard enough to hold its shape, you can remove it from the mold. If you do this before it has fully set, 
it will still have enough flexibility to make demolding easy. Aqua resin has a beta stage, which lasts about 24 hours, where the resin is dry and solid, but not yet rock hard. Any rasping, filing, or sanding is best done during this phase. Sanding releases tiny glass particles and fibers into the air that are highly irritating, so wear a mask. Your piece will be fully cured 24 to 48 hours after the last coat was applied. You are free to paint and seal it however you wish.